There are hundreds of side hustles that you can start. Below are a few of them. Mystery shopping. Do you mind shopping and performing small tasks in stores or restaurants? If so, mystery shopping is for you. There are several companies out there for you to sign up with. With mystery shopping, you usually have to make a purchase and rate a store or the customer service. It's pretty simple. Sell on Etsy. If you make your own arts, crafts or jewelry, you can sell things on Etsy. Millions of people sell on Etsy every year. If you have good products to sell, Etsy may be the platform for you. Wedding coordinator. Do you enjoy making sure people's weddings go as planned? Do you have an eye for setting up events? If the answer to those questions is yes, then you can consider becoming a wedding coordinator. Wedding coordinators do tasks such as helping pick out the wedding venue, going over the guest list and more. Create an online course. If you're an expert at something and you feel like you can teach it, you can create an online course. There are many platforms out there for you to use. I recently created my first online course on one of my side hustles. It's titled The Beginner's eBay Course. Check it out here for more details. Sell an ebook. You may not want to create an online course. That's fine. You can write an ebook instead. Ebooks can make a lot of money depending on the subject. They aren't difficult to create. Massage therapist. The next way to make extra money this month is to provide massage therapy. If you have your massage therapist license, but have another job, you can do massage therapy on the weekends. Everyone is not able to get to the masseuse during the week, so this could be a good side hustle for you. Babysitter. If you like watching kids, you can babysit. People need sitters when they go out from time to time whether it's during a weeknight or on the weekend. Start by asking your friends and family that have kids if they need your services. Referee. Do you like sports? Can you make sure that athletes follow the rules? If so, consider becoming a referee. There is at least one sport going on all year. Hypothetically speaking, you could referee football, basketball, volleyball, and baseball in a calendar year. I have a couple of friends who have refereed for a few years now. It's some nice extra income for them. You can get paid between $35 to $50 per game. Amazon Mechanical Turk. Amazon Mechanical Turk is another website where you can do online surveys. I used to do surveys on this site a few years ago. You can make an extra $20 to $30 per month if you do this 5 to 6 days per week. One of the best side hustle I can vouch and have personally used for years it's copy trading. It's one of the most straightforward and lucrative way I still use till date to earn money on the side. Do you ever hear how people make money from forex, stocks and crypto trading but due to how complex they are, you either try and lose some money then stay away or just leave it all together to avoid taking unnecessary risks. Well guess what, you can now actually copy expert traders through copy trading. I copy trading is, it is an investment technique where investors automatically copy the trades of expert traders in the financial markets forex, stocks, indices etc, and this can be done on copy trading or social trading platforms like by definition a side hustle as a form of employment taken alongside one's formal employment for purposes of generating an additional income. That being said, the amount of side hustles will naturally vary from one person to the other depending on various reasons most common being capability, training, experience, status and time available to dedicate to the side hustles. What is adequate for one person may be less for another. I am presently in full-time employment in a job that requires I do sales and business development, debt collection alongside overseeing daily operations. It is a hectic job that requires full concentration and precise management as a small cock-up might mean losses in the millions. Despite the above, I still find time to do other things along the way. However as a rule, I have made sure my side hustles do not steal my employer's time, compete or have a conflict of interest with my current job and most importantly the side gigs are always time-bound short stints with defined deliverables. Given that my work allows me to meet a wide array of business people, the easiest side gig for me has been industry-based research and proposal writing, this I do for friends or acquaintances at a small fee. 
I am also registered on homepage, GLG. In business, politics and life in general there is always a need for one resource or the other and some people may lack even the slightest clue on how to go about getting it. Being the go-to man or woman has its benefits. Searching, finding and delivering is an admirable trait. This is how restructuring specialists, investors and political power brokers wield power and call the shots behind the scenes. All in all the side hustle depends entirely on the individual.